we're almost ready to get on the trail. Nice slow start here to our morning. Gonna go hit some cool stuff, but first, obviously we can't roll out of here without getting a quick little tour of probably one of my favorite sleep inside trailers in the world that I've seen. So let's talk to Artie and Stacy and see how they use this to take their family on all kinds of crazy adventures. Okay, here we go. You guys about got her packed up. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> you care to give us a quick little tour? Sure, of yeah. How this thing works for you guys? Yeah. Absolutely. Just getting the girls all all their stuff down from the tent up there. So awesome. Which normally they do, but they yeah. find some rocks to climb on. Yeah, well, they're, they're distracted with Caroline, so we'll give them a little bit of grace, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is it. Um, so in the front here, we've got, um, you know, a good amount of cargo storage. That's kind of where we put all the mm -hmm. dirty stuff. And then... Obviously, you've got the stairs going up to oh, the cool. to the roof up. up there. Yeah, nice. yeah so those are great, nice, oh, you know, that's handy. robust. Handy for us shorties and the kids. <laughs> yeah. So, and on the roof, um, you know, anyone can walk anywhere up there. It's all eighth inch aluminum. So, oh wow. Uh, with grip tape and stuff, so the kids can get in and out. Our kids are loving it. They mm -hmm. love being able to get out of the tent with their bags just sitting on the outside and then down the ladder. Yeah, okay. This is the uh, one type of setup you can do. Obviously you can do like a normal rooftop oh. tent that folds over and then has an annex. We opted for the Kabari on this go around oh. to kind of try out this setup. Oh, it's, the wedges are so fast. Yeah. Oh so my gosh, fast. it's been life changing not yeah. having to do that whole cover. <laughs> Zipper, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And this is where right. Stacy and I sleep. And this is the interior. It's not Oh, wow. That's nice. When we're traveling, we've just got everybody's bags and pillows in here. Uh -huh. But as soon as their tent is set up, then it just becomes a really nice sleeping quarters for us. That's so yeah. cool. I love all the little touches, too. Yeah, and all the lights dim, uh -huh. which is really handy. Yeah. And then with the charging uh, kind of station over in the corner there, we can keep everybody's devices topped off and <laughs> all the kids happy. All the yeah. adults happy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the peace. This is my favorite part. Yeah. The kitchen. Uh -huh. So typically, you know, we're hungry when we roll into camp and I love that as soon as we're level, it's just time to cook. Yeah. So we can wash our hands easily. We can get to, get to all, all of our food. Wow. And this is all, all aluminum, our... right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All aluminum powder coated. And yeah, handy drawer with all so, you know, storage. All and... the games. <sighs> Making me jealous, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can carry way more stuff in here than what I should. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, and we have a lot of safety um, built into the trailer as well. Um, there's a little switch right over here that um, activates a micro switch when you pull out the range so that it cuts off the propane. You know, if you go to put it so in. You don't burn the house down. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So, That's smart. anyway, there's a lot of little things like that. And, cool. and then all the electronics and everything's accessible just by lifting oh, up this. Now you're talking my language. Yeah, nice. With the Red Arc, Red Vision system. So is that to 120 amp hour or 100? Uh, 100 amp hour, yeah, yeah Battleborns. Nice. This just looks like, you know, some sort of CNC machinery here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm expecting it to start laser printing something. Yeah. <laughs> but that's also how um, this all folds up. So one of the great things about this is we can use this kitchen in a number of different configurations mm -hmm. when Stacy pushes this in here. I love it because a lot of times we're eating on the trail and you know if we're just doing a quick lunch I don't need to expand right. the whole thing. Uh -huh. So I can just bring this counter oh, down, yeah, that works in make my out. sandwiches really yeah. quick and all of our about your um, stuff. I keep all of our food in this cabinet, okay. all of our you know necessities and silverware and things mm -hmm. there. So I don't need those few shelves in the back those i usually use when we're staying at a place for a while and it's okay. kind of the catch-all right you just okay. need a place to put things yeah. um so but this gives me a good good prep area for sandwiches and one other thing i've discovered especially in high winds is i don't even have to use this area if i don't want to i can 
you know, with the drawer pushed in here, I've got another little countertop. I can make some quick sandwiches <laughs> just right here. <laughs> if I'm like, it. nope, oh, I don't yeah. want to be in the wind. Yeah, like counter space is, <laughs> yeah, it's at a premium when you're camping, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's our transformer kitchen. Dang, yeah. that is awesome. so cool, guys. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and this is always overlooked, but instant cover over your kitchen area. Yeah. That's yeah. always huge because if yeah. it's raining or snowing, it's miserable. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. And there's yeah. a little lip after our first camp out. We learned very quickly that we need the little lip up here so that so the rain falls. the water. If uh -huh. the rain does come on, it's uh -huh. not dripping in your face. It's yeah. dripping yeah. to the sides. So, yeah. yeah. It's funny how those are self revealing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like the little paper towel retainer. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. These yeah. are things you don't think about yeah. until you're yeah. actually well, using it. The first time there was yeah. 30 yards of That's it. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One other thing that I like is Artie specifically when he was designing this, he had me measure my Instant Pot because he's like, I know you're going to want to take that with, with the inverter back there. So my Instant Pot can fit right here. What? So when we go hiking during the day, I can just throw something in from the freezer and, <laughs> you know, turn it wow. on. We can close it up, go on our, you know, adventures for the day, come back and be like, ooh, dinner smells good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All the comforts at home. Right? Yeah. 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 No hot dogs and hamburgers yeah. So then coming around here, we've got the annex on right here. Uh -huh. um, and this is primarily for our middle daughter, but it's super handy. Um, if you come around this side and kind of poke your head in, we've got this bush in the way, but it's, oh, yeah. uh, it's super handy to yeah. be able to have her you know, sleeping quarters, right? Her cot and whatnot here, or, or even just hang out. And and it gives us a nice changing room. Just, you know, it can yeah. just get right out of bed and Well, that change. and if you're up in Alaska and the mosquitoes are crazy, you know, you have yeah. retreats in yeah. here too. So. And it's got a ceiling as well. It's all completely. Yeah, so it's not place. just, you know, you don't have to zip anything together. It's just a box, right? Yeah, and then you have quick access inside. Okay, right? so oh, nice. if you want to, you know, take a shower and then use this as your changing area uh, yeah. and then be able to get okay. in and out. Wow. Uh, <laughs> and right now we've got, uh, because last night it was a little chilly, so we've got our heating duct uh -huh. plugged in here. So this is standard on all the trailers oh, wow. where you plug in heating and then uh, you can run that down into your sleeping bag or like I said, you know, over to the shower. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's super handy. You it's got a, one of those cold night poos, you can just stick that down in yeah. your pocket. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> Not that I would do that, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. And then there's privacy. You got oh, just, um, okay. you know, magnetic shades. Uh -huh. Just click on. So. Wow. Yeah. That's slick. Yeah. So hot water on board. How much water yeah. is total? So we've got 36 gallons of water. Okay. Um, the hot water heater, we use a Truma Combi unit. Uh -huh. It's about two gallons on that little, um, you know, water tank. Okay. And, uh, and you have different modes of hotness, right? So if you're going to take a shower, we recommend putting it on the hottest and then uh -huh. mixing more cold with uh you know with the hot tip so it's sort of a hybrid on demand sure. but with yeah reserve that's good because you usually waste yeah. a lot with the true instance because it's got to pass a lot of water yeah. through it so that's cool yeah so and that's all housed right here under this uh -huh. um enclosure here okay so Very and that's nice. the other side so yeah great great pass through and yeah you can see the the shower right up there and uh and the nozzle is super handy. You can just reach over and you just turn this handle, right? So you just plug it in uh -huh. and then uh, turn the handle to hot or cold. Okay. And then when you're done, just take that out, okay. close that up and stow oh, your nice. shower and you're good to go. Very, very nice. Awesome. Yeah. So big question, and this is, this is, me talking here what kind of suspensions under this because that's always the achilles hill of a trailer yes <laughs> <laughs> so we um engineered and designed our own a-arm coil and shock suspension and uh yeah we can take a look at it if you yeah, want you're talking it's, my language now yeah <laughs> <laughs> the sandwich time no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> second breakfast yeah so 
Oh, yeah. Um, and that's, again, all designed and manufactured in-house. Uh -huh. And um, we've, you know, gone through a lot of testing and in, in figuring out, you know, exactly what works and what doesn't. Uh -huh. And, um, yeah, it's it's been phenomenal. Well, just the color it's alone hard. tells me that you're on the right track. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> awesome. So a uh, structural frame, what's that built out of? Yeah, so it's all aluminum. Uh -huh. um, the whole, the entire um, chassis and, uh, and cabin is all aluminum, uh, with the exception of the rear bumper, the hitch, and the tongue, and obviously the suspension as well. That, those are steel. Gotcha. Um, but then it's all riveted together with um, direct welding replacement rivets. They're mm -hmm. structural rivets. Okay. So each one of these has a 3,000 pound capacity. Wow. And uh, in, the, in the body, and then every rivet on the frame has a 5,000 pound capacity. That's crazy. All right. Well, I appreciate the tour. I'm sure there's a lot more to this thing, oh, yeah. but <laughs> I guess we probably better get on the trail before the day's over with. Yeah. <laughs> it's been awesome hanging it's out good. with you guys here. Yeah. Yeah. Too. We've enjoyed it. Yeah. Thanks so much. Let's see what else we can get into. All right. Let's go.